Here's the latest on xtalks.com. The moment that Pfizer has been dreading has finally arrived. The patent on its blockbuster nerve pain drug, Lyrica, has expired. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration authorized nine generic drug companies to make copycats of Lyrica, also known as pregabalin, mere days after the expiration. Hello, I'm Candace Tang, life sciences journalist and webinar moderator for xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of xtalks Vitals. Our featured webinar for this episode is Key Considerations for End-to-End -end Primary Packaging Solutions for Pharmaceuticals and Devices. Click the link in the description below to register for this free webinar. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right corner of this video so that you can always stay up to date on the latest X Talks Vitals episodes. Over the past 15 years, Lyrica has been Pfizer's poster child for treating neuropathic pain. Initially intended as an anticonvulsant for seizures, it's since been approved for neuropathic pain stemming from diabetes, spinal cord injury, and complications from shingles. Altogether, international Lyrica sales have generated billions in revenue for Pfizer, as it remained virtually unopposed in the market since 2004. Last week, the FDA approved applications by nine generic drug companies, including Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, Teva Pharmaceuticals, and Alcom Laboratories, to produce their own versions of the inhibitory neurotransmitter-derived drug. But don't expect pharma companies and their best-selling drugs to go down without a fight. Pfizer gained a six-month pediatric exclusivity for Lyrica following positive phase three trials one month before its original patent expiration at the end of 2018. In general, patients could potentially see more generic drug approvals as healthcare authorities and regulators develop new rules and plans to lower the costs of modern medicine. Subscribe to the Xtalks YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and visit xtalks.com for more information on this story and our featured life science webinar for this episode. Key considerations for end-to-end -end primary packaging solutions for pharmaceuticals and devices. Click the link in the description below to register for this free webinar.